Brett I'm from El Dorado Recording Services, and here's a real quickie on Twisted Wave on how to import a stack file. So if I, for example, were to create a stack for you, customized for your voice and your room, this is how you'd load it in. So you just go to Effects, Effects Stacks, New Effects Stack, and that brings up the Effects Stack window. Click on the Stacks menu and go to Manage Stacks. That will open up your Finder window. And uh, once it opens the Finder, any stacks that you already have will be in this window here. And more than likely, your, your stack window will be empty. So the stack file that I emailed to you or whatever, you'll just um, drag that file into this uh, folder. Once that's been done, just close Twisted Wave and relaunch. And after you relaunch Twisted Wave, go to Effects, Effects Stacks, and now you'll either say Load a Stack, or if you have the newest version of Twisted Wave, you'll just see Effects Stack. And then on, uh, on the right here under New Effects Stack will be the Effects Stack that was created for you. Then you just click on it. Loads right up with all the effects that I uh, created. You can click Play. And Maximizes it. your ROI. And audition it, and if it sounds good to you and you're happy with it, just click Apply. And the effects and the whole nine yards will be applied in one fell swoop. Now, I usually recommend that before you apply effect stack, normalize to minus three. And after you apply the effect stack. So before minus three, normalize, and then after minus three, normalize. And that just makes sure that your levels are always consistent before and after processing. That's really important to uh, make sure the processing works as intended. So that's it. Thanks for watching.